additional consideration paid for by the following. up guys tim zabriski here back at it again with the brand new vid oh man labor day sunday you know usually around here it's sunday fun day but today it totally was sunday bum day i think i slept all day long me and the rue we put on the newsroom it was <laughs> i love that show if you've never seen the newsroom and you got amazon prime it's an hbo show freaking fantastic it basically just follows like the behind the scenes of um of everything that happens at um the news <laughs> i mean it's fictitious but what's really cool is that they take actual real life news events and just and reenact it in in the sense of what's happening and then it goes into its story storyline um aaron sorkin was the director of it it's really cool there's three seasons of it they're they're all available on amazon prime i definitely recommend it uh, I've probably had one of the greatest weeks that I've had in a long time. As you can tell, I got my collar and elbow shirt, also from that commercial that I had so much fun filming. If you don't know what that is from, look up Ico Pro. Ico Pro was the um, the WWF's protein supplement that that Vince McMahon was in charge of and stuff like that. Um, but but. I, I just got my shirt. My promo code's available. The promo code is um, Tim Z Show. So if you go to the website, just type in Tim Z Show. A video should have been playing right there. I guess I guess it didn't work. That's okay. Um, I don't know why why that didn't want to go for me. But um, but yeah, if you go to the website, type in Tim Z Show. It'll pop right up. But they also sent me some pretty sweet stuff. They sent me this sticker here, as you can tell. Um, it's pretty awesome. I wish that mine said brand ambassador because I don't really do a lot of athlete stuff anymore. I do want to start wrestling again. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence about it. But then they also sent me this sweet sticker, too. Um, this one's going to go on my car. I have a white car. I think it'll blend in really, really nicely. So we got a good show for you today. L.A. will be calling in a little bit. She, uh... She had some stuff going on with that. Um, and, you know, we're going to talk about some college football. We're going to talk about, you know, football starting up next week. Um, and I have downloaded the Marco Polo app. If you don't know what that is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run you through it. Let's try to get L.A. onto the phone now, see if she's available to chat. Uh, what a weekend. I got tomorrow off. I'm gonna sit around all day and do hello. nothing. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. What are you up to? Labor Day weekend barbecue. Oh, I'm jealous. Are you? Where are you? In Jersey? Yes, I am. Mm. How's the weather down there? Um, on and off rain. Not too bad. It stopped raining a while back. Nice. Are you watching any sports? Yeah, yesterday more so. Today there's only a couple games on. I've been catching college football, tennis has been happening. The U.S. Open is at the end of it. It's um, about to go to its second week, so lots been going on. Gotcha. Well, tell, tell us about it. What's What do you got for us? Um, well, college football started on Thursday. It usually only happens on Saturdays, um, but... Because Labor Day, they stretch it for their opening weekend. Mm -hmm. um, no, no upsets really. The only team that went down was Texas. They're ranked twenty third. Um, they lost to Maryland, but they have a new head coach, kind of rebuilding their program. So they're going to be they're struggling a little bit. Um, you know, Alabama still has their dominance because of Nick Saban. Ohio State, they were dominant against Indiana. They're ranked two. 
Um, so, but yeah, overall, like, good start, but no upset yet. Wow, that's crazy. So how far into college football are we right now? This is the first week. Okay. The first week, yeah. Um, and there's usually like 12 games. Mm -hmm. And uh, it probably it ends around, like, Thanksgiving, that weekend, usually. And then you go into, like, bowl games by um, December, and usually a lot are on New Year's Day, or, like, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. And then the championship, the national championship the week later after that, in January. Gotcha. So, at this point, who would you say is definitely the favorite to um, take home the championship? I know it just started, but, you know. It's. It's oh, like Alabama is always in the discussion. I think they're favored five to two. Okay. I, I believe, and like Ohio State's three to one. Okay, so so if it comes yeah. down to the and, two of them, who would you say that you're really rooting for? Uh, I'll root, I'm rooting Ohio State over Alabama. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Nick State. Uh, I don't. I like Urban Meyer a little better. Ohio. Ohio State, um, they have like, I mean, they both have great players that come out of schools, but um, I mean, Nick Saban, he's won like three in the last five years, I believe. Huh. So it's like you want to see somebody else win. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, well, how he's in college though, so right? So what year of school yep. is he in? Who? Nick Saban, right? Nick the Saban's the coach. Nick Saban's the coach. So he's he's like a super He'll senior. Prob <laughs> yeah, he's probably gonna go down as like the all-time best college coach. Period. Oh, nice. Like that's yeah, that's how like good he is. I mean, he produces defenses. Like a lot of his, a, a lot of his kids get drafted. I mean, um, but yeah, they're like always dominant on the defensive end. And he had a redshirt freshman last year come in, and they made it to the national championship but lost to Clemson. Oh, really? Yeah, they they lost in the last seconds. Clemson Clemson lost to them the previous year, so it was like redemption and they ended up facing each other again in the uh, in the championship and but Clemson came away this um this last time. Gotcha. And that was last year you're saying, right? Yeah, this was this past, yeah, the last season. Cool. So, but it seems exciting. A lot of different teams are like ranked this year, so it's it's looking good. Gotcha. Um, is there anything else going on? Uh, like I said, U.S. Open is at the uh, round of 16, so they're kind of, it wraps up next weekend. Is the finals? Uh, Maria Sharapova had her big comeback in her first. I believe it was her first Grand Slam appearance since her suspension two years ago mm -hmm. um almost two years ago but she just got ousted today um but a lot of big names are out because of injury like top players like novak Djokovic, andy murray stan wawanka they're all not playing Serena williams wasn't playing she just had her baby the other day so wow. some of the congratulations to yeah, her huh? yeah some of the top ranked people aren't in the um tournament this year so mm -hmm. it gives way for um other people to kind of like make a name for themselves um, in the U.S. Open this year. Are you a big tennis player? Uh, no, I'm not that good. <laughs> I try, but I'm like the tennis balls are going like all over the place and like out of the court. Yeah, I'm awful. I'm not pretty. I'm not that good either. Um, no. But you know what else I'm really bad at? And I tried this yesterday. Yesterday we went to um, the Saratoga track because it's the last weekend of it for the season. And oh, I, okay. And I took my I took my hand at, at doing some gambling. I'm really not. Oh. And you know I've worked at the track. I worked at the track for years. I used to you know I used to be a clerk there. I used to take the bets. I used to work in the TV department there. And I just died. Yeah. But the gambling aspect, I'm just not good at it. I blew about. I uh, no, me neither. I, I feel like I jinx, I feel like I jinx or something. I'm like if I bet, it's like not doesn't end well. Yeah, you know, I try to look at the odds, and, you know, I don't do anything with, like, the names of the horses or anything like that. I just go with the odds. Yeah. And um, still, I, I did I did bad. Now, I went and I looked at um, um, what the guy on TV, Andy, that I used to I used to 
hook him up. With, like, I literally would hook up his microphone for him and stuff like that. Um, I looked at what he was doing, and I did an exact box with all the numbers that he had, and I still lost. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I'm not good when it comes to the races. Like, not, no. Yeah, it doesn't really work out like that for me. Um, but yeah. all right, it's... I hope you enjoy the rest of your Labor Day weekend. Um, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Okay. Sounds good. All right. That was L.A. from sportsandchamps.com. I'm going to pull up I'm gonna pull up her website for her because uh, that way I can tell you a little bit more about it. What it is is it's basically geared towards women, trying to help them out, figure out um, if they don't know the conversation of sports, she will assist you just by going to her website. You can pull it up on your cell phone. It's really simple. So, for instance, if you were to go to the football section, you can find out all the different plays. You can find out all the teams and who the players are, who to be rooting for. That way you know what you're talking about, which is helpful for me, even though I'm not a female, because I don't know what I'm talking about either. So, if we're, you know, we're looking at Aaron Rodgers, we can see the quarterbacks, you know, the, the linebacker, Clay Matthews, things like that. It's really handy dandy if you ask me. And now, if you want to know what's really awesome and really handy dandy, let me tell you. There's this new app that just came out. Oh, well, I don't know if it just came out, but it was just introduced to me, introduced to the Ruru. Um, it's called Marco Polo. Her whole family is so freaking obsessed with this app. It's hilarious. Um, I, I don't really want to talk about it because I brought on a special correspondent to tell us more about this app. And it's it's very nice to that you know we have more people that are interactive with the with us and um, the correspondent's name is Tim, for instance, and it, which is crazy to me. Now, Tim, tell us more about what's going on with this app. All right, Tim. Thanks. So, um, I'm gonna pull up the Marco Polo app now, and what this app is great for is everything that anybody ever wanted with FaceTime, with being able to leave people. FaceTime messages you can do that with the functionality of snapchat so if I were to pick on Ruru here and then um, um, you know you can see all the different filters just by swiping and stuff like that this one looks like uh, one of the memes from America and then um, also this is my favorite one this one lets you create like a cartoon image and stuff like that so if I were to hit the start it's obviously leaving a message. There's no time limit like Snapchat, but what you can do is you can write on people. You can also change the different um, voice filters too. So right now I have the helium filter on and it sounds really cool to the other person. Definitely turn on the macho one because I like to be the macho man. Yeah. And then there's also the robot one too. Now you can also draw on the person. If just pick the color, draw on and stuff like that. And then you can also turn the camera around. But it's awesome though, is that now that I just recorded that, I can actually play it back too. To start, it's obviously leaving a message. There's no time limit like Snapchat, but what you can do is you can write on people. You can also change the different um, voice filters too. So right now, I filter on, and it sounds really cool to the other person. Definitely turn on the macho one because I like to be the macho man. Yeah. There's also the robot one too. Now you can also draw on the person. If just pick the color, draw on and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's basically it, and then it, the full message will stay, and then they can, um, they can watch it later, and it also saves a message too right on the app. So that's the Marco Polo app. I definitely would recommend it to everybody. Talk to you later, Tim. Thanks, Tim. You're a really good-looking guy. I don't know if anyone's ever told you that before. Um, if I wasn't, you know, dating the Rue, you'd be the guy I'd go after. Um, so yeah. I don't know if there's anything going on in the world besides that. For me personally, I'm having the best week ever. I bet you I look 10 times better because I got this new webcam here. I hit bonus for at my job. That's how I was able to get this thing. Looking 10 times better. Um, I have some huge different changes coming up with my schedule. Don't want to go into it just yet. But I'm going to be able to be push out more content, which is what I love to do. Tomorrow, I think we're going for a hike. If if anybody's doing anything sweet, let me know. Um, leave a comment here. You can definitely call in next time. Let me know what you're up to. Follow me on Snapchat. 
Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Timmy Zabriskie. Make sure you like this page, share this video, and we'll do another one of these next week, 7 o'clock. All right, well, that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by to the Tim Zabriskie Show. We do this every Sunday, 7 o'clock. Talk to you soon. <laughs>